my friends and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a very fresh episode of fm 17's the hall of famer it's episode 35 already i cannot believe we have made it that far through the series uh, but this is where we find ourselves today we have a very very special episode but if you're brand new to the series make sure you go all the way back to episode one and catch up with the whole thing it's been a hell of a journey it's been a hell of a ride as well i've really enjoyed it to this point but now we find ourselves in a very very good situation in D. Today, like I say, it's a big episode, episode 35. Every five episodes, I try and do something a little bit special. I haven't been able to do that recently because of the way that the series has been panning out. But today, I have a massive game in Europe to bring you guys a big rivalry in the Premier League and also a massive game in the League Cup. Now, before we crack on with that European fixture, though, I have to show you how things have been going in all of the competitions to this point. We're going to take a look at the fixture screen. Then we're going to catch up with where that's leaving us in the league, and then we will crack on. So let's head over to the fixtures. So here we are, my friends. We are at the fixture screen. And as you can see, the last time that we met one another, we did uh, play the game against Porto, and we were sadly beaten 2-0. Uh, we were completely outclassed in that game. But since that point, things have been going pretty, pretty well in all competitions, I will have to say. Uh, and the, the main thing as well, and the main reason behind it, is the defence is doing a better job. We started keeping clean sheets, something we weren't really doing uh, in the last couple of uh, episodes. But... We are doing that now. So let's crack on. Let's catch up uh, with the fixtures that we've played between the last episode and this one. So then we can move on and get on with today's episode because I know that's what you're all waiting for. But um, the first game that we played uh, was against West Ham in the league. And as you can see, uh, it was a 1-1 draw. We scored just before half time through David Ayew. But Charlie Austin would level that on the 66th minute. It was terrible defending from us, uh, has to be said. I could, we completely dominated the game as well. So it's a bit of a sad state of affairs um, that we ended up dropping the points in this game but a point nonetheless is pretty decent the next game then was in the EFL Cup third round and we were drawn against Manchester City and I did toy with bringing this game to you guys but it was so close to where the last episode finished I, I kind of promised that if we were to get through this game then the next time uh, that we were in the EFL Cup I would bring it to you and that is exactly what has happened but it was an absolute classic was this game um it was unbelievable. We found ourselves 2-0 down in the first half, but we fought back and we ended up winning this uh, fixture in extra time. As you can see, Sergio Aguero and Mario Goza put in uh, City 2-0 up um, inside two, like a minute of each goal. And then Abdoulaye de Decore, though, with an absolute thunderbolt in the top corner, uh, pulled one back for us in that first half and he gave us something to play with. Then Borja Mayoral got uh, a, a very unlikely goal. He's not really been firing on all cylinders uh, this season. He's, he's been a bit disappointing. And then and in extra time, Matthias Rue popping up with a goal. He's been instrumental this season in our push in all competitions. He's been brilliant. He's been a hell of a signing. And a 3-2 win in extra time against Manchester City put us through to the next round. Uh, and really is keep, keeping us in the hunt for... Uh, for that cup and it's one that I have to start taking seriously a bit like last season with the FA Cup uh, but then we did face off against City again in the Premier League and you will see that City ended up winning this game very comfortably 2-0 uh, they went 1-0 up on the 13th minute then Bernat was sent off on the 38th I thought we were going to have a bit of a chance uh, to you know come away with uh, something from the game but they went 2-0 up 43rd minute but what I am going to do I'm going to click on this fixture and show you uh, how the game went down because how on earth we didn't get something from it is completely beyond me you'll see city stats there four shots four shots on target uh, but we had 24 shots and nine shots on target how on earth we didn't score god only knows um city did play very well they defended all right but we had so many chances and really should have taken some if something from the fixture um You'll then see we we played our next game in the Europa League group stage. We came up against Real Betis and we got a very, very good 2-0 victory indeed. Um, Abubakar on the 35th minute with the first goal and then Decore sealing the deal on the 54th minute. A great result for us in that competition. And then we came up against Leicester in the league. A good 1-0 victory. Uh, Matthias Raru again with a goal. 
like I keep saying to you, instrumental, brilliant player, 88th minute, and it was an absolute thunderbolt of a goal as well. Brilliant, brilliant goal. And then we came up against Sheffield Wednesday, and Sheffield Wednesday was a game I was going to bring you, but... With the way the fixtures have worked out, I just played this fixture so we can move it along. And uh, the three games today are massive. You know, a big rivalry against Newcastle in the league. And then we've got uh, two cup competitions uh, either side of that. The the rivalry game in the Premier League is the filling in the sandwich of what promises to be a great episode. But you see another goal from Matthias Saru. He's a, he's a legend already in my eyes. He's one of the best signs I've made on FM this year. And... Uh, he got the only goal in the game. We did dominate. We should have probably come away with a little bit more. But a 1-0 victory did the job. Got us the three points. And that brings us to today's episode. But before we crack on with our game uh, against Strong, uh, yeah, against uh, Strom got set, let's take a look at the competitions, uh, you know, the league tables uh, and how all of that stuff is panning out. So here we are, my friends. This is how it is all looking. And it's all very, very promising. You see the EFL Cup, we're into the fourth round and we've got a very favourable draw, uh, in my opinion, against West Brom. They are still down in the championship. It's not going to be easy, though. Uh, they're a good team. Um, you see the UEFA Europa League, we've moved up to second. Uh, obviously, we did start with a loss, didn't we, in that competition? But that good win against uh, Betis has helped us move up the table. So we now sit second. And, um, you know, it's favourable for us today. Strom got set. They're not strong team so hopefully we can get the three points against them and then as you can see the Premier League the one that really really matters uh, to everybody we are doing so so well this season we sit fifth after nine games four wins four draws one loss a uh, great goal difference 16 points on the board and uh, we stand every chance really of finishing quite high up the table because I, I really fancy us against anyone we come up against at the moment we we have it in our locker to score goals and I feel like the three players we've got in midfield now, because we've strengthened that area and we've strengthened the wings, uh, I, f I feel like we really do stand a chance. I don't think we can win the league. I do think some of the clubs above us are a little stronger. Um, they've got far better players than us, but we do stand a chance of maybe nicking fourth or at least finishing fifth or sixth, and that is what I'm going to be aiming for this season in the league. But that's it. We are done. We are up to date. The admin is over with. It's the bit that does me head in every episode, and I'm sure it does yours too. Let's crack on with the action. Okay, my friends, so here we are, and this is the team we're going with. It's a weakened team, I'm sure you will all agree, but Strom got set are not the strongest team themselves, and we are at home, and I feel like this team is, you know, more than good enough to come away with the three points in this fixture. So I'm going to give some of them a go. There's still some, you know, real first-teamers in this squad, but this is the strongest team, um, you know, the strongest second team, so to speak, that I can put out. And I really feel like some of them deserve a chance, uh, you know, in this competition. And that is what I'm going to be using the cup competitions for anyway, is to make sure that we do rotate, rotate the team and keep everybody happy. So we're going to go with Fernando Gabriel in goal. We're going to go with uh, uh, Lirola and uh, Giraldo at uh, fullback. We're going to go with uh, Tokiwa and Fies at centre-back. We're going to go with uh, Decore, Zebli and uh, Zaire in the centre midfield. Fior and Gray make up the wings and May Oral is playing up top. Lovely old job. Let's get going. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Our European adventure continues with this game against Strong Got Set. And we just need to come away with the three points in this game. We should dominate. We are the better team. So let's see what happens. Right, free kick for us here. Gray into Zaire. That was a clever free kick. And we find ourselves 1-0 up very early on in this first half. A great goal from Zaire. Need to start giving him a bit more game time. He is a quality little player. Clever free kick from the boys there too. 25 minutes gone in the first half. We are completely dominating the football. Another goal would, you know, basically finish this tie off. Would tie it up. And that's, that's what we've got to go for. Uh, but we're, we're the better team. We're dominating the fixture. Uh, and as I say this, though, there is a free kick. Fires with the head. I managed to get it out. Lerola now, though, coming away with the ball. Can he feed Gray? He can. Gray just needs to bust the gut up this wing. If he gets a good ball in, he does. And Bouja Mayoral. What a counter-attack. 2-0. Two, two middles, brah. I fully expected to win this fixture. And we are doing a brilliant job. Right, there's a throw in there from Strom got set. And... With a chance, it's a good shot and it just goes wide. That's their first shot of the game though after 34 minutes. Bit tragic for them. It'd be good if we could nick this and try and hit them on the counter. Whether or not we will, we'll have to wait and see though. Another ball tried over the top. Zebli though, oh no, Zebli's going to be showing a second yellow. What is he doing there? 
in control of this game and he goes and gets himself oh, fucking moron <sighs> right so we're in full control of this game I'm not too bothered by it so I'm just going to drop the wingers back I think Fior is not that good playing there but I know Abubakar is so let's bring him on and we're going to just play these guys as wingers back here we're not going to change anything too much. I'm going to leave his eye here on for now. I am going to change him to an advanced playmaker. And I am going to make... Oh, actually, I'm just going to leave him as a box-to-box. -box. I'm just going to leave it like that. That is going to do the job, I think. Hopefully, we don't go and throw this away, though. All right, so here, just with the ball in, but it's gone straight to the goalkeeper. It's nothing to worry about for them. But this... Hopefully this isn't a goal for them. It was a good header from the fullback there. But they have got the ball. And they've got the extra man now. So anything is bloody possible. But we were in complete control of this game. Why he felt the need to go and get sent off in the fashion that he did. And that is very, very close. But the whistle's gone for half time. We're 2-0 up. We just need to make sure that we see it out in this second half. Right, corner now. Zaire with the ball in. That's a great corner. Decore did get his head on it, but... Grace still got it. Where can he go with it? Inside to phase. Inside to Mayoral. And he gets his second goal of the game. The 10 man. Uh, you know, the fact we've lost the man, it doesn't matter. The 10 men are 3 0 up. All right, just going to make some substitutions to freshen it up a little bit now. I'm going to. Uh, I was going to bring him off, Mayoral, but he's on a hat trick. Um. So, I don't know what to do. I wanted to give Danny Morris a little run out uh, in Europe. But, I think instead, I'm going to bring Chico on for Zaire. He can go to a deep-lying uh, playmaker on defend. Just to, just to look after this, I think, now. Um, and the, the rest can stay as it is. You know, there's no need to bring anyone else on. I just feel like that will do the job. That will see it out for us. Right, Abubakar. With the ball out here on the wing. It's him up against the that one man. Oh, what a ball. Mayoral, what a save. If Mayoral would score then, I could have brought Morris on, but it wasn't to be. But he's still with us. A Abubakar, Gray, and it's gone out for a corner. All right, corner now. Gray with the ball into the box. Fires tried to get his head on it. Nothing came of it, though. Mayoral, though, on the ball. Where can he go with this? Tried to get the cross in. Nothing comes of it. It's not really his position, not really his job. But he just tried to keep it alive. And there's a ball. There's a very clever ball over the top. And the fullback couldn't get it. But good goalkeeping there from, from Fernando. All right, corner. Gray, ball into the box. The corners have been brilliant. Chico gets on the end of it. And that's 4-0 with 10 men. Easy peasy, lemon fucking squeezy. Right, my friends. Four minutes to go. I'm just going to bring Danny Morris on as a right winger. I'm going to push him up as an attacking right winger because he can play there. I'm going to take Gray off because Gray has had an outstanding game. Three assists in the fixture. But this is game set match. It's three points for us. What a performance. And as the game ticks down, they've got a corner. Nothing's going to come of it though. 37 shots. 17 on target. And we've played the second half with 10 men. And that's it. A 4-0 victory. A great way to start this episode. And we march on in Europe. So here we go, my friends. Second game of today's episode. And it's a massive one in the Premier League. It's a big derby. I do believe they call this one the Ty and Tees derby. And it is, of course, Middlesbrough versus Newcastle. We are at home in this fixture. We have the slight advantage there. And we beat them last time that we met them. We need to win this rivalry again. These are the games that bloody matter in the Premier League. And the team we're going to go with to try and win this fixture is Begovic in goal, Chambers and Husband at fullback, Gibson and Chids at centre-back. We're going to go with Saru, Martin and Chico in the centre midfield. I've dropped Zebley because that's silly sending off. We're going to go with Abubakar and Gray on the wings and David Ayew, the man of the moment, up top. Let's do this. So here we go, ladies and gents. We get the game kicked off. I just want a good result. I want another three points, if at all possible. And as I say this, we've got an early corner. Doesn't come to much from Gray there, but we've still got it. Martin on the ball into Saru, into Gray, but that's being cleared out. And hopefully Begovic can claim this. Maybe just quickly pass it out, Begs. Keep the pressure on. 
That would be great. Yes, great. Out to Chambers. Inside the Chico. It's looking pretty good from us. Saru, he likes to go past people. Can he get past this Newcastle player? He can. Chico now on the ball. Where can Chico go? A bit. What a shot from Chico and his 1-0 inside two minutes. Bottom corner. What a fucking strike. It's Chico time. Come on. 25 minutes gone in this first half. We're completely dominating this first half of football. And as I say that, we do find ourselves with a throw in. David Ayew doing very well there, turning the player. He has got a slight injury. He's got a cut on his hand, but he should be able to continue with that. As Abubakar, oh, into Ayew. And he just drags his shot wide. But like I say, dominating this first half. Now, it's just before half time. We do have a corner. Gray with the ball in, and it's gone completely over the keeper. Big Chid has got his noggin on it, and it's 2 0 against Newcastle. Good in there. Oh my god, Gray. He's going to try and skip past him. He doesn't, are you? <laughs> Oh, you beautiful man, David Ayew. That was pretty much from the kickoff, ladies and gentlemen, but it's 3-0. Right, there's 55 minutes gone in this first half, and David Ayew, I know it's only a little cut in his hand, but I'm going to pull him off. I'm going to put Danny Morris up front. I'm um, going to give him a bit of a go. Play him in his strongest position as a complete forward. Um, we can just rest him. I think we can afford to do it. 3-0 up. Surely we can't, uh, you know, drop the points now. Oh, what a tackle that was from Ben Gibson there. And can we build now from the back? Be a great if we could get ourselves a fourth goal. As Swaru comes forward, he skips past the player. Oh, that's brilliant skill from him as well. Holding on to that ball. Chico now, he is on it. Into Gray, into Swaru. Where's he going to go? And is he shoot? And it's 4-0. What a thunderbolt of a shot. What a performance in the last two games. What a goal. Right, it's a throw in to Newcastle here. And can they get something going? They just have been all at sea in this game. They've completely bottled it in this big rivalry fixture. But they do come down the wing and they have got their self one back. Is the comeback on? I'm not worried. I'm not worried at all. <laughs> Fuck the comeback. Right, husbands now. Throw in into Gibson. Receives it back. Passing this ball around so nicely. Can't do much with that, but Chico is still on the ball, but that's a tackle from the Newcastle player. Need to win this ball back. And that's a good header from Chids. Needed to find a man, though. There was plenty of red shirts around him. He couldn't do it, and there's a, there's a pass in there, but it's a good save from Begovic. Right, there's 10 minutes to go, ladies and gentlemen. I am going to make some substitutions. I just want to freshen the team up, really. I'm going to bring Chico off for Bradley Dak. Um, I wish I had another centre mid. Uh, on the bench because really they're the players that are struggling the most but I'm going to bring Abubakar off I'm going to bring uh, Fior on for him, for him and hopefully this will just see out the last 10 minutes of this fixture alright it's so a throw in Chambers oh, he was looking for Gray but the Newcastle player beat him to it and uh, he was just quicker to it but Bradley Dak into Gray into Swaru look at the space that he's got but that's a good tackle from the Newcastle player again there. And that's a great ball. What is Chids thinking? Stepping up in that fashion. But Begovic has put him off. It's gone for a corner. Surely should have been 4-2 that though. Clock is ticking down, ladies and gentlemen. We have completely dominated this fixture. 4-1 is the scores on the doors. There's a ball over the top, though. Can Kuki get them a consolation? No, he can't. Big Chids again with it. And Damari Gray has had an exceptional game again in this fixture. Another three assists. And, um, you know, he's really been given a chance because of Fleek, you know, being injured. But 4-1, that's how it's finished. And another three points for us in the Premier League. So here we go, my friends. Last game of today's episode. And it's a big fourth round fixture in the EFL Cup. We find ourselves at home once again. And at home, our form is exceptional this season. And we are coming up against the championship side, West Bromwich Albion. And hopefully we can beat these guys and move on through into the quarter finals of this competition would be very very special if we could do that and the team we're going to go with to try and attempt to move on to the quarterfinals is Begovic in goal Gerardo and L uh, Lirola are at fullback we're going to go with Big Chits and Tokiwa at centre back we're going to go with Decore, Zebli and Dak in the centre midfield Fior and Gray on the wings Mayoro up top it is a rotated team but like I've been saying the whole time the cup competitions is where we're going to give guys a go 
and this is no different. Let's do this. So here we go. West Bromwich Albion get us kicked off. They may be playing their football in the championship, but they are still going to be a stern test in this competition. So just gone a 15 minute mark. And as I was about to say, not much has happened. Dak with a ball in. It's claimed by Lewis. And we'll have to wait and see what is going to happen here. But it has been a quiet first after this points. But that's a good header down from Chids. Now Decore into Mayoral. Where's he going to go? Nowhere. But Chids is going to get the ball. And Lirola, where can he go with this? Can he drive forward? Can he try and go past the man? That's a great ball. Mayoral with the finish in the bottom corner. We are 1-0 up. Great football again. The crosses in the box this season have been the difference maker. All right, so throw in now to West Bromwich Albion. They're going to try and build from the back. They are no mugs, but that's a great hitter from Chids again. Zebley into Decore. Where can the big Decore come with this? Into Mayoral. He does turn. He does very well with the ball. Into Zebley. Into Dak. Out to Gray. Can Gray get a ball across? He can! And Dak in the top corner. It's 2 0. It's 2 0. It's too easy today. What a fucking piece of football from the boys. All right, so throw in, Lirola. Ah, it's come to nothing. Colker has cut it out, but Zebley with the header. Now into Fior. Where can he go with this? Cuts inside, keeps going. Oh, what a goal that would have been from Fior, but Lewis does claim a pretty tame shot. And what a great first half of football that is from the boys. 2-0 up at half-time. Don't really need to say much to them. Let's see if we can just finish this off in the second half. Right, Begovic now on the ball into Chids. We do like to build from the back. That's how I like my football played. Short, simple passes, but moving it up that pitch quick. And that's a poor pass from Borja Mayoral. <sighs> up against it now. We're just relinquishing possession to West Bromwich Albion. Hoping that someone can get a tackle off, but they're passing this ball around very, very well. Oh, it's out wide. He's going to get a ball across, and Begovic claims. That could have been a lot worse than it ended up being. Mayoral's got to be more careful with his passing. So, 60 minutes on the clock. It's got to that time where I like to make substitutions. Um, Chids is a first-team starter, and he's done very well. And uh, he, he's not he's not got as much energy in the tank as I'd like. So, I'm going to bring Wutzfires on for him. Uh, who else am I looking at bringing off? I'm going to bring Damari Gray off as well. I want to save his legs. Uh, he's been exceptional um, this this season so far. And he's got another assist to his name today. But we're going to bring Danny Fleeg on. Try and get some fitness for him. But that's all we're going to do for now. Because we're going to save that last substitution. Just in case anything happens. The Corey. In a DAC. Comes to Fleeg. Where's Fleeg going to go? Into the Corey. Comes out wide. Beautiful ball from the Corey. Lioro. Oh, it was a beautiful ball, but Fior just could not get his noggin on it. Well, he did get his noggin on it. He couldn't get it on target. That's what I meant. Anyone would think I'm not even watching the game. Okay, there's 14 minutes to go. Borgia's coming off. We're going to give Jens Jonsson a go up top at the end of the day. He is a young lad. Needs to get more football. Going to go complete forward with him. Hope he can make the difference. Well, not so much the difference, but an impact. Because we're tuning him up after all. Shut up, Dan. Get on with the game. 87 minutes on the clock. It's still 2-0. It should be game set and match. Dak into the core rate. We've been very dominant when we've been on the ball. It's looking like a second yellow for the man whose name I'm not going to try and say. Because it'll take me a fortnight. 10 men. 2-0. Game over. 91st minute, corner's coming in. This is going to be all she wrote, and we move on through to the quarterfinals of the EFL Cup. Get in there. Okay, my friends, we find ourselves at the fixtures screen after what was a very, very successful time of it in the three games that we covered today. A good 4-0 win against Strom got set, a 4-1 win against our rivals Newcastle, and an impressive 2-0 victory against West Bromwich Albion. We move on in the cup competitions. We're doing very well in the league, uh, but we just need to see where we're going to pick this up next time out. And as you know, guys, uh, I'm trying to play at least one fixture against each uh, of the teams uh, in Europe, so I will be moving this on the quarterfinals uh, draw has been made of the EFL Cup as well so I'm thinking of maybe even bringing it back uh, for the quarterfinals of that competition uh, and it might be another it, I'm probably going to do a two game episode but I'll explain it when I say the games that I'm going to play um, 
uh, between now and the next episode. So I am going to cover the game against. Uh, I am going to sorry play the game against Manchester United. They, they're top of the league, but uh, obviously I'm not going to bring it back for the very next game uh, in the series. So I'm going to play that game. We're going to play the game against Strom got set and against Wolves and Chelsea and Porto. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four. Five. Now I'll play the game against Arsenal that makes it six so it's perfect for us. So then I will come back next episode and we're going to do two cup games and I know you're all thinking that's a bit weird because there's a league game sandwiched between them but I don't like to do three game episodes uh, all the time because they're a little bit too long and uh, I try and save that for the special episodes each uh, fifth episode. So what I'm going to do is I'll play the game against Swansea, then I'll play the game against Southampton, but you won't see me play it. I'll just you know play that game, move it, get it out of the way, and then come back for a second game in the next episode against Raul Betis. And in that way, you will have seen me play each of the teams in the Europa League um, group stages at least once. Uh, and I think that's only fair. So next episode is going to be a cup special, so to speak, a quarter final and a group stage game in Europe. Hope you guys are looking forward to that. Now, before we wrap this up today, let's have a look at the competition screen. Let's see how all those league tables and cup competitions are looking now. So here we are. Let's start with the Premier League. We are still fifth in the league. Five wins, four draws, one loss. A great goal difference. 19 points on the board. We're only six points off the top of the table. That's pretty incredible after 10 games in the league. It's going pretty well for us. Um, absolutely loving life this season in the Premier League. Uh, as you can see, the uh, Europa League group, we now sit on six points, two wins in that group's uh, competition. I think if we beat Real Betis and we beat Strong Got Set the next two games, we're pretty much through to the second knockout round of that competition. And as far as the EFL Cup is concerned, the quarterfinal draw has been made. We are at home against Swansea, and I feel like we stand a really good chance of beating them and coming out of that competition. They're not having the best time of it this season. They haven't got the best team. I think we're slightly better than them. So we could find ourselves in the semi-finals after the next episode is done. What a time of it we have had this episode. Come on, you beauties. So there you have it, my friends. That's the end of another episode of FM17's The Hall of Famer. It's really going well at the moment. I can't quite believe it. There's a lot of wins on that fixture screen uh, and not too many losses. This team that we've built, very young, very hungry, and it's doing the job. Another three wins in today's episode. Not all in the league, obviously. There's more to football than just the league. We want to be winning as many cup competitions as well as the league because we are trying to get to the top of the Hall of Fame. It doesn't matter how we do it. We've just got to win the major competitions. I've loved today's episode. If you have, be sure to be dropping me a like on this video. It really, really is appreciated. If you're brand new to the channel, you like what you see, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button. It's down here somewhere underneath the video. But that's it, my friends. Until next time, I've been Dan. You've been Legends. This has been FM17's The Hall of Famer. Peace out, my homies, and I'll see you for the next one. Good night.